Methods of Integration The purpose of the methods of integration is to develop the methods of evaluating integrals which cannot be evaluated directly by any of the standard formulas. So as you can uh, observe, hindi lang lahat ng ating napag-aralan na sa integration ay magagamit natin siya all throughout. So there are uh, some cases like in the methods of integration wherein yung una ay the product of sine and cosine. So first is product of sines and cosines. Trigonometric integrals are those whose integrands involve trigonometric functions. Some trigo integrals cannot be evaluated directly from their given forms. However, they can be reduced to standard forms by use of appropriate trigonometric identities. So the first uh, methods, itong product of sine and cosine, halimbawa, we have the integral of sine u, cosine v dx. So, alam natin na itong u and v ay magkaiba yan. No? So, iba yung kanilang um, a value. Okay? Next one, we have the integral of cosine of u cosine of v dx. Okay? And the last one is we have sine of u multiplied by sine of v dx. Okay? Where u and v are differentiable function of x and u is not equals to v. Okay? So, yun yung case. Dapat yung ating u at saka yung v ay differentiable function of x. Okay? So, dapat pwede natin siyang ma-differentiate or ma-over natin siya into dx. And dapat yung ating u ay hindi siya mag-equal sa v because meron tayong uh, application of addition and subtraction dyan. Okay? So, the above, the above integrals can be evaluated. So, itong tatlong ito, sabi, um, it can be evaluated with the aid of the following trigo formulas. Ito ay galing doon sa product of uh, to some formulas. So, this would be equals to 2 sine of u cosine of v. Okay? Wherein this is equals also to sine Ito na yung sinasabi ko, magkakaroon tayo ng addition. I-add natin yung u plus b, okay? Plus, is yung sign ulit, and then, isubtract naman natin siya, okay? u minus v, okay? Next, yung ating pangalawa, yung cosine cosine, will, will be equals to 2 cosine of u cosine of v. Wherein this is also equals to cosine of a quantity u plus v plus cosine of u minus v. Okay? And the last one we have 2 sine of u sine of v is equals to cosine of a quantity u minus v minus cosine of u plus v. Okay? So, we see that by means of these identities, so yung lahat ng yan, the integral of the product of sine and cosine can be reduced to an integral of the sum of two sines. So, take note of that. Integral of the sum of two sines while the integral of a product of two cosines or two sines can be reduced to an integral of sum or difference of two signs. That is, so pwede na natin siyang ilagay sa integral. Uh, tingnan nyo yung ating module. Merong um, third sets of formulas. Yung ating integral of two sine u cosine of v dx is equals to the integral of sine quantity u plus v plus sine quantity u minus v dx. Okay? The next one is the integral of 2 cosine of u cosine of v dx is equals to the integral of cosine of the quantity u plus v plus cosine of 
a quantity u minus v dx. Okay? So, na apply na natin na yung ating u and v is differentiable of a function of x. Okay, the last one is the integral of 2 sine of u sine of v dx. So, that is equals also to the integral of cosine of a quantity u minus v minus cosine of u plus v dx. Okay? So, yan yung ating pakatatandaan ng mga formula with dito sa ating methods of integration. Yung una natin is yung product of sine and cosine. So, example tayo. Okay? So, first example, evaluate the integral of cosine 6x cosine of 2x dx. Okay? So, in this case, alam natin na yung ating u is equals to 6x. Okay? And then yung ating v is equals to 2x. Ngayon, tingnan nyo muna kung ay yung 6x ba at saka 2x ba ay differentiable value of a function of x. Pwede ba natin siyang uh, 6x dx, di ba? Para makuha natin yung du. Pwede naman. Okay? So, pasado siya dun sa una nating criteria. Next. Sabi dun, u is equals to must not be, uh, I mean, u must not be equal to v. Dapat hindi sila magkapareho. So, dito, merong difference, di ba? So, pasado ulit tayo dun sa isa pang criteria. So, we have the product of two cosines dito. So, kung meron tayong uh, product of two cosine, yung pangalawang formula yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, alam natin na meron tayong two na nasa unahan, wherein doon natin kukunin yung ating neutralizing factor. Okay? So, this should be equals to the integral of two cosine of 6x cosine of 2x dx. Take note of the 2 na nandyan sa and next to the integral sign. So, para makuha natin yung neutralizing factor that, on that, lalagyan natin sa left side ng 1 half. Okay? The next step is proceed with the formulas. The process, okay? So, yung sabi dyan, yung cosine daw, okay? So, this should be equals to one-half integral of cosine. Mawawala na yung 2, diba, dun sa ating formula, nawala na din yung 2 kasi nag-neutralizing factor na tayo din eh. So, ito na lang yung concern mo, ito, okay? So, yung cosine of 6x, cosine of 2x dx, wherein yung u is equals to 6x and v is equals to 2x. Okay? So, ilagay ko muna siya dito sa loob para hindi tayo magulo. Ang cosine is u plus b. So, 6x plus 2x. So, ito yung u plus v. Okay? And then, ilagay mo ulit yung cosine. So, plus cosine. The next one is uh, 6x minus 2x. Ito naman yung u minus v. So, Kunin nyo lang kung ano yung nandun sa ating formula. Then, dx. Okay, so this should be equals to 1 half integral of cosine of 8x plus cosine of 4x dx. Okay, then integrate na natin itong nasa right side. So this should be equals to 1 half times yung ating neutralizing factor sa cosine of 8x is 1, 8. Then, yung ating integral of cosine 8x is sine of 8x. Diba? We have uh, cosine is equals to, uh, is equals to sine. Diba? And then, plus, neutralizing factor ng 4x is 1 fourth. Then, sine of 4x. Okay? Kasi nag-integrate tayo dyan. Plus, the arbitrary constant c. Therefore, we can now simplify the equation. So, this would be equals to 1 over 16 
sine of 8x plus 1 over 8 sine of 4x plus c. Okay? So, pwede nyo naman kung hindi kanyan yung pagkasulat nyo, pwede din naman siya na sine of 8x all over 16 plus sine of 4x all over 8 plus the arbitrary constant c. So, pareho naman siyang correct. Next. For our next example, we have Evaluate the integral of 3 sine of 5x cosine of 4x dx. Okay? So in this case, kung ito ang concern natin kanina, then nag tayo ng 2, diba? Sa unahan. So dito... Meron kang 3. Okay, take note of this one. So, dapat ay makuha natin siya. And ilalagay na, ia-add natin siya doon sa inilabas natin sa left, left side na neutralizing factor. Kung ito lang yung, yung underlined lang yung concern natin. So, this would be equals to the integral of 2 sine of 5x cosine of 4x dx. Then, may 1 half ka dito. Okay. Ngayon, meron kang 3, diba? So, you have to multiply that 1 half times the whole number 3. So, that is equals to 3 over 2. Okay? So, pwede ko na siyang ilagay dito. Sorry, 3 over 2. Okay? And next. So, take note ulit na yung ating u for that is equals to 5x, and yung ating v is equals to four x. Okay. Lagay ko dito, no? Yung ating u is equals to 5x. Yung ating v is equals to 4x. Okay, so, ilalagay ulit natin yung 3 halves sa kabila, sa left side. And then, ilalagay natin ulit yung integral sign. But in this case, kukunin na natin yung, ano ba yung gagamitin natin? Sine, cosine, so yung first, no? So, this would be equals to uh, the sine, sine of, u plus b. So that is, oh, ilagay ko ulit, 5x plus 4x. Ito yung u plus b. Okay? Plus sine of u minus b. 5x minus 4x. u minus b. dx. Okay? So in this case, ito ay, simplify ulit natin, 3 halves, uh, Integral of sine of 9x plus sine of x. Okay? Dx. And then, pwede na tayong mag-integrate for that. 3 over 2 ulit. And then, ano ba yung ano natin, neutralizing factor? Siyempre, that is 1 over 9. But, alam natin na yung sine is, uh, yung integral of sine is negative cosine, di ba? So, dito, dito ay meron tayong negative. And then, ilalagay natin yung cosine of 9x. Okay? Then, dito, instead na positive siya, magiging na siyang negative kasi nga yung ating uh, integral of sine is negative. So, this is equal to negative cosine of x. Okay? Plus the arbitrary constant c. Then, you can simplify that. So, 3 halves, kuha kayo ng calculator, i-multiply nyo lang yung 3 over 2 times uh, negative 1 over 9. Okay? So, that is equals to negative 1 over 6. Then, ilagay mo yung cosine of 9x. Tapos, ito, di ba, nag-distributive nag property tayo dyan. Ito ay meron din tayong 1 dyan na hidden. Okay? 
So, ilalagay natin, this, this is equals to 3 over 2 cosine of x plus the arbitrary constant c. So, ito na yung ating sagot for this example. Next. So, how about if we have the integral of sine of 5x sine of x dx. So, take note ulit yung ating u is equals to 5x. Yung ating v is equals to x. So, same ulit. Uh, hindi siya equal at uh, differentiable siya of x. Okay? So, ilalagay natin. This is equals to the integral of 2 sine of 5x sine of x dx. Okay? And then, neutralizing factor sa left side na 1 half. Then, pwede na natin siyang i- uh, conform dun sa ating um, formula. Ito ay sine sine, di ba? So, ang sine sine ay the third one. Okay? So, this should be equals to 1 half integral of cos cosine tapos u minus b. So, u minus b that is equals to 5x minus x. Okay? Minus cosine of u plus b. Okay? So, 5x plus x. Then, dx. Okay? Then, simplify natin ito. So, this would be equals to 1 half cosine of 4x minus cosine of 6x dx. Okay? And then, pwede na natin integrate So, this would be equals to 1 fourth sine of 4x. Kasi yung ating uh, integral of cosine is sine minus uh, 1 over 6 sine of 6x plus the arbitrary constant c. Okay, then simplify natin ulit ito. This should be equals to 1 over 8 sine of 4x minus 1 over 12 sine of 6x plus c. Okay? So again, you can write it like uh, sine of 4x all over 8 minus sine of 6x all over 12 plus c. So kahit alin doon ay pwede naman. Then, yung last example na gagawin natin, so I don't know if ito yung nandun sa ating activity. Okay? So, evaluate the integral of 4 sine of 8x cosine of 3x dx. So, hindi naman ako nagbibigay ng too much na masyadong complicated problems. Because some of you are not familiar with the integration and differential calculus naman talaga. Some are graduated with other strands. Okay? So, at least you know the process and you know the principle behind this method of integration. So again, yung ating u dito ay equals to 8x. Yung ating v is equals to 3x. Okay? Then meron tayong uh, 4 na whole number dito. So that would be equals to 4 over 2. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa example number 2. Then integral of, ilagay ko ulit yung 2 ha para hindi kayo malito. Pero kapag nag-confirm um, na tayo dun sa ating formula, nawawala naman yung 2 na yan eh. And this is equals to sine cosine. So, yung ating sine cosine ay formula number 1. Okay? Sine of 8x cosine of 3x dx. Okay? So, this should be equals to 4 to ulit. Then, yung ating um, sine of u plus b. Ito, u plus b. So, 8x plus 3x. Then, plus sine of u minus b. Okay? u minus b. So, 8x minus 3x dx. Okay? So, 4 over 2. Ito pa lang 4 over 2. Pwede mo na siyang gawing 2, di ba? Kasi, 4 over 2 is 2. So, then, uh, isimplify ko muna. Hindi muna tayo mag-integrate, no? Sine of 11x plus sine of 5x dx pa rin. Ngayon, mag-integrate na tayo. So, this would be equals to 2. And then, K 
Okay. Negative siya kasi sine ang ano natin. So, negative cosine yun, no? So, negative 1 over 11. Yan yung neutralizing factor. Then, cosine of 11x. Then, negative 1 over 5. Cosine of 5x. Plus the arbitrary constant c. Therefore, we can uh, simplify this uh, further. So, this should be negative 2 over 11. Cosine of 11x. Minus 2 over 5 or 2 fifth cosine of 5x plus c. Okay? So, ito na yung ating final answer for that. So, tandaan nyo lang na yung mga basis natin dito sa first uh, method of integration is the trigonometric functions and then yung sa differentiation natin. No? So, yun lang din naman. Dun lang umiikot yung ating mga equation and example.